Things are getting expensive these days and it's crazy. I mean, prices are going up. I'm sure you've seen the numbers with inflation rates. I mean, these days they're selling brand new houses for 500,000 and I'm like, that is a $300,000 house at best. It's insane. So in this video, we're gonna focus on prices going up, the cost of living in Missouri, and just what things are looking like as far as housing prices, and then a lot of taxes you're gonna have if you live here, from real estate taxes, personal property taxes, income tax, transfer tax, and then we'll talk about how gas is looking these days because it's all over the place, but I'll give you a cool link to go look at all of it at once if you want. So we're talking about all of it. I'm gonna give you a general rundown, give you an overall idea of things. So let's get talking. Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And hey, real quick, if you're moving to the St. Louis area, my team and I are licensed realtors. If you want some help buying a house, buying a condo, breaking down these different costs, we got you covered. Just send us an email, send us a text. Let's get in touch. So the overall, I guess, good news, I would say, with Missouri, with St. Louis, and just the cost of living, I mean, yes, things have gotten expensive over the last two years since COVID and everything, like prices have gone through the roof, but we're no LA, we're no New York, like we're not like one of these places that's so expensive you can't live there anymore. Now, that being said, it's relatively way more expensive now than it was two years ago, but we're still not one of the most expensive markets in the country. In fact, we are usually below the national average as far as just the housing cost index and the cost of living. Like, I mean, you're looking at usually between 10 and 15% lower than the average for the whole country when you're looking in Missouri. So we are less expensive than a lot of other places, which is good. And if you're looking at Missouri wondering between the two big ones, St. Louis and Kansas City, which one's cheaper? St. Louis is a little bit cheaper from the cost of living index compared to KC. So KC is still below the national average. St. Louis is just a little bit cheaper compared to Kansas City. So that's a win for St. Louis if you ask me. And I always kind of take those numbers with a grain of salt. I mean, you can look at the averages and the statistics all you want. If, if so, if that's what you want, Missouri typically is below the average. So there's the good news in that. Now, as far as home prices and the cost of buying a place in the St. Louis area, I'm gonna give you these medians over the last six months in order from lowest, least expensive, to the most expensive. So actually, the lowest on this list is gonna be St. Louis City with a median of 211,000. Then you got Franklin County at 220. St. Louis County is gonna be 243. Jefferson County, 254, and the most expensive in the St. Louis area, St. Charles County at 325. So they're up there as far as their median prices. Now that's the median. So you got a lot of houses above and below those prices, depending on where you go. And these numbers have absolutely gone up in the last year. And I mean, prices are going up. We've seen interest rates going up and then your tax bills going up because your assessed value and market value are much higher. And then, I mean, just the cost of maintenance, repairs, materials, that's going up. New construction these days, you pay a premium for that. And then with the cost of renting, I mean, there is a little bit of a lag between housing prices and rent going up. But yes, renting is also getting expensive as is purchasing. So we're gonna talk about some taxes because I could get into the weeds about utility bills, insurance, all that kind of stuff but taxes are some of the most expensive stuff you'll have to pay here. Now, overall in, in Missouri for property taxes, we're ranked 27th in the country. So we're pretty like average just in terms of property taxes. But when you get into personal property taxes, that's a big thing that is killer for a lot of people who are coming from a state where that doesn't exist. So Missouri doesn't have the highest property taxes, but we have personal property tax, which adds, I mean, that could add thousands of dollars to your bill every year, depending on what you own. And that's the thing, not every state might have personal property taxes or state income taxes, but I promise you, more than likely, they make up for that by charging more in other areas. So we're no Illinois with real estate taxes, but Illinois doesn't have personal property taxes. We have that. Illinois has a lot more with transfer taxes. We do not have that. So just to give you some perspective, or I mean, state like Texas, they don't have any income tax there for the state, 
but their property taxes are way higher than what we pay in Missouri. So overall with property taxes, like I said, we are ranked 27th in the nation and we're usually around 1% or so with property taxes. So usually between like 0.95 and 1%, that's usually where we come in for our average tax rate. But again, and I'll talk about this more in a minute, it varies so much. It depends on the county you're in, the municipality, and then on top of that, how much is going to public schools, fire district, sewer district, libraries, parks, because some of those might not apply to you. And if so, that is part of your property tax bill. And then each municipality is different because some are very expensive, some not so much. So there's a lot that goes into it and it's really across the board. Cause like I said, we do not have a lot of flat taxes in Missouri. And if we do, there's always more that gets added to it. So it's tough to give you a general across the board answer because in every situation, it's gonna be a different amount or a different rate for your taxes. So overall, property tax is assessed at 19% of whatever the market value is. So assessed value is gonna be like roughly one fifth of the actual value. And it really depends because I mean, if you're looking at a house and it has taxes that come from the fire district and the sewer district and another house that does not have those, but that house is in a more expensive municipality, your tax bill could be the same in both cases. There's a lot that goes into it. And it gets complicated and it gets controversial. So a lot of the wealthy areas in St. Louis have some of the lowest tax rates. So if you look at an area like Ladue, their school district tax is one of the lowest in St. Louis County, whereas Jennings has the highest. So you have like double the tax in Jennings, but the median selling price of a house in Jennings is $60,000. In Ladue, that median is $802,000. So the tax is twice in Jennings, but the property values in Ladue are 13 times more expensive. So it gets complicated. It gets very controversial in St. Louis too. This video is not about that. That's just an example to show you areas can have very, very different property taxes and personal property taxes. So if you're thinking, man, this sounds complicated, it absolutely is. And if you're wondering if there's like a list that has it all written out, there is, and it's a thousand pages. So if you want, it'll be in the description for this video. But that's what I mean when I say I can't give a general across the board answer because every single county and municipality has its own tax rates for very specific situations. Now sales tax, and I'll move on to personal property tax in just a minute. So there's a rate for Missouri, and then you have to add on additional rates to your sales tax. So in the whole state, the minimum it's ever gonna be is 4.225% for the Missouri sales tax. On top of that, you have to add the county and sometimes the city for your sales taxes. So the whole state has a minimum of 4.225, but if you look at the city of St. Louis, their whole sales tax is just under 10%. So it is ridiculous. Now, if you're wondering what do you pay personal property taxes on, it's gonna be cars, tractors, trucks, RVs, motorcycles, boats, all of that is gonna be something you have to pay personal property taxes on. And I mean, companies have to pay taxes on their machinery and their equipment. Farmers have to pay taxes on their livestock because Missouri looks at that as personal property. So it's kind of ridiculous, but it is a huge, you know, shock factor for a lot of people who move here and don't anticipate their extra tax bill because of personal property taxes. So that's the thing. You might buy a house in an area where your property taxes are pretty low, especially if you're coming from a state that has way higher property taxes. But if you're moving here and you have two cars and a boat and a motorcycle and some chickens for the backyard, you're gonna have that personal property bill, which can be absolutely killer depending on how much stuff you own. So cars are the biggest example of this and especially like it can get expensive depending on how valuable your car is. But I mean, if you have it leased, you gotta go through the company that leased it to you. And if you sell your car or just get rid of it sometime in the year, your taxes are based on if you owned it at the beginning of the year. So the personal property tax is based on January 1st, if you own that car or not. 
and the assessment rate for personal property is one third. So if you have a car that is $100,000, it's gonna be assessed at 33,333. And on top of that, your personal property tax, again, depends. It could be 4%, 5%, 6%, somewhere in between. So again, this is where if you live in an area that has higher taxes, that really can make a big impact on how much you owe when you look at your house, your cars, if you have a motorcycle, a boat, an RV, all of that adds up and it gets expensive. So that's what I mean when I say that Missouri isn't at the top of the list for real estate taxes, but when you combine everything and all the taxes, it definitely gets more expensive than you would expect. And then in terms of income taxes, we do have income taxes here as well. And again, there is no flat rate. So it depends on how much you earn. You're gonna pay anywhere from 0% to 5.4%, that's the cap in Missouri for income taxes. And if you live in the city of St. Louis, there's an extra 1% earnings tax you're gonna pay if your company is in St. Louis City or if you live in St. Louis City. Now that's for W-2, not for 1099. So you, I mean, it starts off, you know, sounding pretty simple, but the more taxes you add and the more stuff you have to think about with living in Missouri, there's a lot more that goes into it than just your income taxes or just your real estate taxes. And then gas prices, I'm sure this is gonna drastically change the second I put this video on YouTube. St. Louis City tends to be the most expensive around here for gas between St. Louis City and St. Louis County. Between 375 and four bucks a gallon is the average right now. St. Louis City is closer to four than St. Louis County, they're kind of in the middle. And then St. Charles County, not as expensive. A gallon of gas over there, these days about 330 to 360. And if you want, there is a website online that will show you a map and it'll show you up-to-date gas prices at every single gas station. So you can see the range and I think the range was like between 325 and 415, and that was somewhere in the city of St. Louis. So again, it varies a lot, and it is different in every city and every different county. So again, if you are moving here, if you want some help relocating to St. Louis, just shoot us an email, shoot us a text, whatever works for you. Let's get in touch, get that conversation started, and help you with that process. But until then, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care, have a phenomenal day, and I will catch you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.